It's going to be one hot day again today all over Georgia. In fact, most areas will be in the 80 to 90 degree range. That includes Calhoun, Rome, and Carrollton, all hitting 85 and above, and a whopping 88 in Atlanta. We've even got 82 in the North Georgia mountains. Looking ahead to next week and the extended forecast, more of the same with temperatures soaring into the high 80s all across our viewing area. I think we can put away those boots and ugly Christmas sweaters, folks. It's gonna be one hot Christmas season. If you were wishing for warm weather for Christmas, Santa delivered. Definitely does not feel like Christmas, babe. I mean, what? even for Atlanta, it's got to be like, what, 80? Uh, 88, to be exact. Jeez, we're going to be throwing Christmas dinner on the grill if this keeps up. <laughs> yeah, that's what? a wonderful idea. Hey, shoot, hot dogs and ribs for Christmas? Cool by me, but I don't know about Miss Stephanie, though. Well, Christmas at our house. Whoa, 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 how do we go from burnt hot dogs and sticky fingers to us hosting Christmas dinner? Come on, you know how I'm always saying we need to have childhood memories for Chandler at our own home. Yeah. And how I'm always complaining that she spends more time at mom's house than at, at ours. Yeah, but that's not the same, babe. You know what, Blair? I think that Chandler's first Christmas that she actually remembers should be in her own home with her own mom's cooking. Your cooking? Yes, my cooking. I'm thinking tapas, OK? Uh, garlic pepper shrimp, stuffed bell peppers, pimento cheese sandwiches, a little bit of chorizo. I don't think Miss Stephanie's going to like this. Yeah, well, guess what? Oh, you know what? I need to get back to the office. You know, I think Elizabeth is trying to bail on me. First, she was coming in late. Now she's not coming in at all. Well, you don't have any clients, so. So what? We're just in a lull right now, OK? okay That's all. OK, OK, OK. I'm cool with that. Christmas is going to be wonderful. Mom is going to love it. Anyway, I've got it all planned out. It's going to be spectacular. I mean, but it school say hello, lady. Oh, so much for a peaceful pedicure, Stephanie. So as I was saying, since we're having non-traditional Christmas weather, why not have a non-traditional Christmas dinner? And we're going Italiano. Oh. Oh. Marcy keeps calling me. Could you please have a conversation with daughter dearest? Because our business is sinking faster than the Titanic. Right, now no, no, you're no. asking me. Anyway, we're going to have a fantastic feast. We're going to have fettuccine alfredo. And some linguine. Lord, and we're going to do some bruschetta. And then some alfredo and some linguine with clams. And we're going to have minestrone soup with some bruschetta and wash it down with the chianti. It's going to be magnifico at la casa Stefania. So what are you making? Niente. That's Italian for nothing. Oh, so what are you bringing? Ragu. That's Italian for ragu. Grazie, prego. I make the pasta by myself because my sister's selfish. Leave me. OK. Yep, then it was about your age when she started playing golf. She loved it. <laughs> oh, and bowling. That girl loved her some bowling. I uh, never actually went uh, bowling. Honey, well, what else did Dana like? Oh, basketball, basketball. A uh, jump shot was a killer. Killer. Dana was such a daddy's girl. She wouldn't set her foot into a kitchen to save her life. Oh, I love to cook. My grandma and I used to make biscuits all the time, and they were so good. Oh, 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 you know what else Dana and I like to do? Ping pong. Mm-hmm. We'll do that next week. Uh, well, ping pong, bowling, basketball. I'm going to go inside and get some ice cream. OK, OK. Well, I really love having a daughter around. Me too, honey. But isn't this wonderful? This is going to be her first Christmas as Denny Brooks. I love the way that sounds. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Donald, I have a great idea. Let's do Christmas here in honor of Denny. That is a good idea. Yeah. And you know what? what? We could go Jamaican. Hmm. 
Yeah, you remember my, my grandma Essie? Mm. Now that woman could throw down on some stewed oxtails. <laughs> oxtails for Christmas? Yeah. With the Chandlers? I yeah. don't think so, baby. I don't think so. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm having me some oxtails for Christmas. <laughs> In a one horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. <laughs> Sound bob tails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing. Well, then he has one thing in common with Dana. Neither sing one of them can sing a lick, bless their hearts. Let's stop. What fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Okay, you know what? All that harmonizing and belting, I have worked up an appetite. How about we go back to my place and I'll cook something oh, up? No, no, no. Oh, Mama can. I gotta go pick Chandler up from the sitter. Oh. Besides, I got a little surprise. No, I have a surprise. We're gonna do Italian for Christmas. My house. <laughs> what? Well, Mom, you always have dinner at your house. It's a tradition. Okay, well, we need a new tradition for Chandler. And Denny. I think you just don't want the baby around me anymore. <laughs> you, Stephanie, you can have Christmas at your house. Thank you, sister. Love uh, but Myra. the Brooks family will not be there. Come what? on, Danny. Well, then neither will the Kirklands. Let's okay, go away. So it's settled. We're going to all do our own Wait thing a minute, for Christmas. You guys. Whoa, whoa. Why don't we go away for Christmas? That way, no one has to host or not host. Well, let's go to the mountains for Christmas. Oh, well, I'll pick the place. Make it simple, steak. And, 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 and rustic. And manly and, and cute. I got it. I got, I got it. it. But you know, let me just say this. I think that this Christmas is good. Okay. What just happened? About it all hey. later. <laughs> Listen, no, I'll meet the end at 10 a.m. I'll text you the deeds. The deeds? Uncle Doug, why are you always trying to pull me into because, your schemes? Because, because you were the Abbot to my Costello, the Laurel to my Hardy, the uh, Ethel to my Lucy. Come on, come on. Oh, this is going to be epic. The whole family out on the open road singing. Playing games. Chandler, this is your Uncle Duck, and he is excited about driving a house on wheels. Said you needed something to seat eights. This should do the trick. Sir? What is that beautiful piece of machinery over there? That, my dear friend, is the brand spanking new 2018 38 foot Georgetown. She's got six beds, full bedroom, full bath, five televisions, a slide out. She's top of the line, that one. May I? Ooh wee. <laughs> Rolls Royce of RVs. You got that right, brother. Oh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, this is what I'm talking about. I always wanted to drive one of these babies. <laughs> How much, Rick? Three fifty a day. Have a Do I get to drive? I'll drive up, you drive back. We'll take, take it. it. <laughs> <laughs>
everything I need for baking, roasting, frying, Denny, serving. Denny, 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 and don't forget the uh, uh, the chess set. We'll add it to our to-do list. Oh. What else you want to do up there? I don't know. So, what are we having for Christmas dinner? <laughs> Have some turkey and dressing and uh, mac and cheese. Oxtail. <laughs> A traditional Chandler dinner. And now we have a new Chandler tradition, the Christmas getaway. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, Denny, even though you are officially a Chandler woman and you'll be participating in all of the wonderful Chandler women traditions, I don't want you to abandon the tradition that you shared with your grandma. I won't. Good. Because those traditions become a part of our family, just like you're a part of our family. <laughs> do you remember my grandma's favorite Christmas tradition? Oh, do I? <laughs> Hershey's, Hershey's Kisses, Kisses Chocolates. Chocolates. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, my grandma would so love this. Mm -hmm. Shall we? We shall. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, y'all. Want to beat traffic? Here we go. Here we go. Ah! Yes. <laughs> got all your Everything. luggage. Got all your luggage. Okay. Look at that. I'm back, right? Yes, you're driving back. Okay, everybody in? Everybody good? our rustic mountain getaway. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Yes. Talking yes. about <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. All right. That's all. So much for simplicity. Blair, wake the baby. Now, darling, gotcha. do you even think that I was going to get a log cabin? After all, we're Chandler women. Oh, my God. Make sure you get all the Christmas decorations out of there and into the house. <laughs> Well, we may not be in a rustic cabin, but I got a feeling that this Christmas will be quite the adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Baby. Look. Okay, well, obviously the Kirklands get the biggest room in this house. Oh, no, why is that, Marcy? Uh, because it's three of us. Two and a quarter. Still. Still the same spoiled Marcy. Think you should have everything. Ah, oh, and still the same selfish Elizabeth who thinks everyone should cater to her. Selfish? Did I stutter? Good Lord, are y'all gonna be squabbling like this the whole time we're here? Jesus. Did she forget who she was talking to? Okay, look, where is the sisterly love? Where's the Christmas cheer? Let's decorate. Oh, I don't want to decorate, Mom, I'm tired. Rest? When this house is so devoid of Christmas cheer, are you kidding me? Chop, chop, Chandler women. Donald, those go outside. Blair, those wreaths go on the door. What are we doing? Let's go. Let's, all right, go ahead. Let me just go on the record as saying that I know this house is beautiful, but it's still the mountains, and I personally hate the mountains. But I'll make this one exception. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, 
I didn't realize anyone else was out here. So, my name is Elizabeth. Um, I'm out here with my family. Not a husband and children family, because I don't have a husband or any children, but I'm here with my sisters and my nieces. What about you? Nice meeting you. If you want to come over, then you could just. Whatever. Christmasy in here right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Mom, that's beautiful. It, Thank you, honey. It does look pretty, but it still needs a tree. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get a tree way up here, kiddo. Yeah, we probably didn't think that one all the way through. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Who's ready to get down with the Chandler family challenge? And who's gonna be the trivia subject this year? Let's try Miss Daphne. Yeah, if, yeah. yeah. if you insist, if you insist, I think we should do it. <laughs> okay. Which of the following best describes Elizabeth? Okay. A, selfish. B, spoiled. C, afraid of commitment. <clears throat> D, quick to tuck her tail and run because the going gets tough and we lose a few clients. Or E, all of the above. Answer's E. All the above. I win. I'm going to bed. Good night. We probably should have played charades. Yeah. Ah, boy. Elizabeth thinks I should disband the company. I don't. I mean, you can't just throw in your cute little embroidered towels when things get a little rough. You know, Marcy thinks she knows everything about everything. But she never listens to me, and I have good ideas, too. It's not like her ideas are horrible. It's just that she fails to plan. And I mean, she's smart, but she overplans and she overthinks everything, and it gets on my nerves. And now she wants out. I want out! I mean, I don't play well with others, especially when they're not winning. But if she quits, then I gotta shut down. I mean, I could always find something else to do. And now what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Myra. Good night, Duck. Good night, Blair. Good night, Marcy. Good night, Mom. Good, Good night, night Danny Chandler. Chandler. Good night. Sweetheart. Now, honey, are you sure you don't want Denny to tag along with you? Look, she's not gonna like it. I'm telling you. Remember, Dana couldn't stand Fisher. Sweetheart, she's not Dana. I, I, I know that, but, but trust me on this. The more I get to know Denny, the more I know what she likes. I, I even knew it this daddy-daughter thing. Yes, but Donald, every generation is different. Take Marcy, for instance, right? 
She can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> can't sing. And we know she can't dance. <laughs> Ladies, look, Daddy Donald's got this under control. Now, if you excuse me, I got some fishing to do. Okay. <laughs> Catch a trout. Bring home the goods, baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought he was going to break the rock getting out the door. <laughs> You know, our great grandmother passed this recipe down to us, right, Myra? Absolutely. Any yes. Chandler woman yes. knows how to bake these biscuits, honey. Yeah, well, I think it skipped a generation. So, baby. Morning. Morning, morning. <laughs> nice and hot. Wow. <laughs> Baby's asleep? Chandler? Guess who's coming to dinner? Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Family game time. Let's get it together. Come on. Uh, 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 no, no, no. Old school, baby. We're going outside. Let's go now. Wait, don't just stand there looking at me like I'm crazy. Let's go now. Oh, oh, oh. It's so sunny out here. I know, that's why I said we should have gone skiing. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like that one. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, so much for a colder climate. Yeah, it's hotter here than it was in Atlanta, girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey there, neighbor. How about a little Christmas cheer? A glass of ice cold lemonade. I'm cool. Uncle Duck, don't be bothering that man while he's doing whatever that is he is over there what? doing. Well, I'm just being you know, that's one of the rudest men that I've ever met in my life. No wonder he's out here in these woods all alone. And how do you know he's out here alone? I know things. Besides, you're supposed to pay attention to your surroundings when you're out in the woods like okay, this. Okay, it's time to do our Christmas cooking for Christmas <laughs> Day. Great. Okay, now, listen, Lizzie, I thought you could wear the so snowman. Too hot. Me. You can be Mrs. Claus. And Marcy, I your apron this. is in the kitchen, okay? Let's go. Let's I'm not go. wearing this. Oh, love it. Ooh. The baby's crying uh, for what? Uh, uh, uh. I'll get the baby. You go bake. Love you. Hey, Denny. <laughs> Look what I've got. Oh. Well, actually, Uncle Donald, you mind if I rope Denny into some baking? Baking? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to bake, Denny? No. No, I want to. 
play chess. <laughs> you heard the lady. <laughs> okay. Hey. So listen, it's getting a little hot out here. Why don't we uh, go inside? This is going to be great fun. High five. Yeah. yeah, here we go. It's lemonade. When you get older, the old man's going to teach you how to drive. <laughs> well, Dana didn't drive till she was, ooh, 17. Well, I want to start earlier. Oh, there's no rush, you know. <laughs> I know. OK. You mind if I uh, go inside now? It's kind of hot. Hey, so I've been dispatched to the woods for pine cones. You want to come? Sure. Yeah, go. Go dispatch. I'll just hang out here. Check this out. Oh, that's a lucky find. It's nice. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Wow. So, Marcy, mm. when you were a little girl. Did you spend a lot of time with your dad? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We had a lot in common, actually. My mom used to say I was more like my dad than I was like her. One of the things I loved about my father is that he was, he was so understanding. I could tell him anything. Even if you didn't like something? Yep. But you gotta be careful, though. You know, dads think they're doing the right thing. Sometimes they mess up. But when I think back about all the cool stuff I did with my father, man, it makes me smile. That's what this trip is all about, really. Creating great memories for you and for Chandler. Oh, I mean, for all of us, really. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Just remember, Uncle Donald's still getting to know you. Sometimes a daughter's gotta help a daddy out. You feel me? <laughs> I feel you. Yeah. All right, so should we pull these off? Or how I think so. Or should we just like use <laughs> if someone had told me that I wouldn't be hosting Christmas this year, I would have told them they were crazy. <laughs> Girl, I know. It's kind of nice, though. It is. Mm. Do you remember that year after Mama died? And we were all living in different places. Yeah, and everybody was trying to get the money to get all the way to Atlanta. And we met up at that horrible diner in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it had that jute box that only had one Christmas song, Hark the Herald Angels. By the Chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> Greasy hamburgers and chicken wings. Worst dinner I ever had in my life. One of my favorite memories. Mine, too. Mm. You know, it's funny. The things that we remember the most are... Mm times when we had the least. Mark the herald angels <laughs> sing glory <laughs> to the newborn king. <laughs> you ready? Okay. Yoo-hoo! Wake up, Chandler's! <laughs> Come on! Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Not getting up. No, but where did you find the perfect Christmas tree out here in these woods? Well, my elf here and I, <laughs> we got up at the crack of dawn while you all were asleep. And we went out there and we said, we've got to find a fabulous tree for our family. <laughs> and nothing was going to deter us from our goals. And then we said, well, let's go on back in, put our pajamas back on. And we turned around and pulled out, lo and behold, a balsam hill tree. Nice. What do you think? Like it's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it feels like a new family tradition to me. Oh, no more traditions, please. Well, let's decorate it. Let's decorate it. Let's okay. do this. Excuse me, sis. What do we have? So we're going to pull these back. Since oh, you want to get the first, you, you want to get the first one?
we meet again. I'm sorry. Was I interrupting? Actually, you are. What did you say your name was again? I didn't. Connor. It's nice to meet you, Connor. So, um, anyway, do you come out here often? Yeah. Yeah, I actually do. I love it out here. Yeah, me too. Ah, it's just the fresh mountain air, breathing it in. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm a real outdoorsy type gal, so I love it. Yeah, yeah, real outdoorsy type gal, huh? Oh. Don't judge a book by its cover, Connor. <laughs> I mean, your cover is giving off this real, like, emo, drifter-type vibe, but you're a decent-looking man. I just, I'm curious. Why are you out here all alone in the mountains for the holiday? Who said I was alone? Oh, I know a loner when I see one, trust me. Well, look, it's been, uh, it's been nice chatting with you, Elizabeth, but maybe you should get back to your family. Hey, if you ever get tired of not being alone out here in these woods, then you know where to find me. <sighs> I'm so glad you brought this thing. This is wonderful. Yeah, I get some things right, babe. <laughs> I'm glad you took a break. Yeah. Where's Chandler? She's in the house with Mom. You know, I think Mom thinks I'm trying to keep Chandler from her. Are you? No. Yes. But you know how Mom can be. She's always imposing her stuff on everyone. I want to impose my own stuff on Chandler. Baby. Hmm? Chandler knows where her mother is. And nobody can outshine you. <laughs> Have you met my mother? Oh, a few times. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Isn't this nice? So nice. Don't even think it could be more perfect as if the family was around the fire pit singing Christmas songs. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are really taking this whole mountain man thing a little too far. All is Corny. You know, honey, that was the first Christmas song I ever learned. Yeah, that was the first Christmas song we all learned as a child because that's the one song that mom would sing for like every occasion. She was like, Christmas, Easter, <laughs> birthdays, <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> My grandma Essie would come to visit and we'd gather around her while she read the Christmas story from the Bible and then she'd finish off the rum left over from making the rum cake, and a good time would be had by all. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> My grandma used to make me Christmas mittens every year. They were so pretty and colorful. I still have all of them. <laughs> yeah, my mom was handy with the knit needle, too. <laughs> Although, all of my sweaters still ended up being crop tops. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, well, there are no memories like Christmas memories. Nothing like Christmas tradition. When I grow up and get married and have kids of my own, I'm going to bring them here and show them where I spent my first Christmas with my new family. <laughs> to making great memories. Memories. Family. A marshmallow toast. <laughs> marshmallow toast. <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> hey, Mom. Morning, daughter. Mm -hmm. You and Chandler have fun? Oh, did we? My baby girl is something else. Yeah, she sure <laughs> is. <laughs> Ma, I know you think I don't want Chandler around you. I think no such thing. Well, actually, I do, sort of. 
No, I'm really sorry, Mom, but it's just that you are such a mom. And you don't want me to out-mom you. Now, Donna, listen to me. I am your mother and your Chandler's, but I am her grandmother. Right. And nobody can out-grandma you. Got that right. Oh, Good morning, love. There she is. <laughs> Did you get some rest? Oh, look at that hair. Did you bring me a comb? Yeah. Yeah? How about we let Grandma do your hair? Oh, honey. Mm -hmm. Baby, you know that like that is that? one of my greatest yeah. joys. When I used to put you between my knees mm -hmm. and braid your hair, and then my mommy would put me between her her knees and braid my hair, and then there was the hot comb, and she would burn my ear. She's Just the top, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> I can still hear the sizzle, precious. Okay, but I want you to know something. One of the greatest things is black women doing hair together. It's one of the greatest bonding experiences, That's okay? True. Everywhere, all right? Mm -hmm. Wanna come with grandma now? Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, what, what about breakfast? I got it. Um, I got it. Okay. okay. Come on, precious. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Sit down, Elizabeth. Myra? Sit. You too, Marcy. Go sit down. Sit down. This is supposed to be a happy Christmas getaway. But the two of you have been walking around nipping and arguing and scowling at each other, signifying, doing everything imaginable ever since we got here. And it's gonna stop today. She started it. I started it. You're the one who stopped coming to work. Work? Yeah, work. To, Remember to, work? To work on what, Marcy? We have no clients. Uh, this is she, good. We're talking now. She thinks that we should shut our business down just because things get a little slow. It happens. It's slow. business. Can yes. say more like to a standstill? We don't have any clients. We're not making any money. And I'm not wasting any more time on a business that's failing. Well, Elizabeth, you give up too easily. Everything you do, you just give up on it. And you, you know what your problem is? You don't know when to give it over to God. Well, give it over to okay, God. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't guys just reach a compromise and give it six months? How about that? No. I don't have six months. I have to make money, so I need to get out of this business now. Three. Three months, Elizabeth. No. I know you're not used to people telling you no, Marcy, but my answer to you will be no. That's fine. See, no. I wish I never went to business with you in the first place. That is my problem. For you to just throw this away, we had an agreement. We were partners. Shh. You kidding me? No, no it's not that I didn't want it. I'm not in making any money. Anyway, and I don't Inside voices. Me. Shh, lower your voices. I don't have any time or money to give this business. I don't have a man helping to support me. Why do you think that is? Because you're selfish. That's why you don't have a man. You think all about yourself. When the going gets rough, you bail out. You can't be that way. This coming from the most selfish person that I know. How am I Are you done? Selfish? Are you done? You know? Are you done? Look in the mirror. Stop. You're the Lower most your selfish tones. person that you I'm know. Done. And oh yes, I'm done. God. I'm done with Elizabeth, you. Elizabeth, get back. Eli Marcy. You, you, oh my God, oh. Something's burning. Oh Lord, it's these grits. I told you, this Christmas is gonna be quite the adventure. And when you look back on your childhood, you're gonna realize just how special your childhood was. Over the moon. And the little dog laughed to see Simon's boy. And the dish ran away with the cheese. Oh, the cheese. I like that. I like that. Let me try it. That's the stuff the families are made of. Great memories, love, and forgiveness. Don't forget that ever. Okay, okay, I have had just about enough with the sour faces around here. It's Christmas for heaven's sakes, all right? You know what I was thinking? 
I figured since the weather is so beautiful, we could have brunch tomorrow, right? I could get my linen, we could go into the shed and get those fold-out tables, and we could have, like, brunch tomorrow outside. Yeah, I, I don't know about that, because my little weather app says it's about to take a turn. So. See, I don't listen to those apps, dear. I listen to my knees, right, right sis? Yes. And my knees say nothing about bad weather. Well, you and your accurate the knees can stay out here and have bug brunch. For, I'm not doing it. All right, enough is enough, and too much is foolish. It is Christmas and we are gonna have brunch outside tomorrow. You tell him, sis. And you're gonna be very, very happy, and you're gonna be very, very cheery, and we're gonna be full of just Christmas spirit! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> It's really been a fun trip, eh? <laughs> yes, it's certainly had its moments. You seem to be enjoying it, though. Oh, yeah, I'm having a blast. Dana and I have been doing all types of things. Did I say... Dana, I love you. You know what I've always loved about you, Donald Brooks? One of my uh, rugged good looks, quick wit, and uh, chisel for Yes, yes, all of that, honey. But I love that you're a perfect father for a daughter. Well, Dana is the most wonderful, strong woman that she is because of you. And you. The two of you have some great memories together. Yeah, we do. I feel that you and Denny should create your own memories. Because just because Dana liked basketball and chess and, and golf, it doesn't mean that Denny has to like all that stuff, you know? Well, well, I know that, Myra, but she does. Does she? Oh, yeah. Well, she, she seems to, I think, doesn't she? Why don't you ask her, honey? Worst cookie cutter ever. It's probably why your first batch didn't come out so great. How did you know? I mean, I pay attention. <laughs> now, these bad boys right here, they get the job done. <laughs> Mind if I help? Please. First, this guy. Did you always know how to bake like the other Chandler women? Oh, God, no. Have you not noticed I'm the last person they call when it's time to cook? <laughs> I'm just not a traditional Chandler woman in that sense. Well, I want to bake and cook all sorts of things just like them. Do you? Is that what you want, or is that what you think is expected of you? Is it a bad idea? Well, the one thing I really love about this family is that we're all so different. I mean, some of us like the same things, but we're very accepting of those that don't. You know, doesn't mean you're not gonna get dragged for not following Chandler family tradition, but it's all in good fun. But you just keep doing you. The Chandlers will follow. Okay. Let me try it. Now, your big sister Dana, she wanted to cook. <laughs> she used to like to play basketball, ride bikes, soccer, anything but be in the kitchen. While your Uncle Donald, I'm sure, wants you to be like her. Aunt Myra wants you to be like Aunt Myra. <laughs> but why be like them when you can be like me? Go, stamp it. I'm kidding. Not really? What's wrong with people like me? <laughs> I'm not so bad. Look at what you did. This is so pretty. It is. So what you do now is you just take off the little edges and put okay. that back in the bowl. Save that for later. Good idea. And voila, a cookie. Ready? Ma, 
Mom, are you sure about this eating outside? It's so hot. Oh, honey, it'll be fine. Mm, yeah, if you're cold 90 degrees in the shade, fine. Mm, I need something cold to drink. I need to dip in that pool. Uh It's not fair for me to try to recreate those memories with you and make you do stuff you don't even like doing. It's not that I don't like golfing and chess and playing. Okay, I hate that stuff <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> don't you ever feel like you have to do what you don't want to do just to make someone else happy, even me. I love being a dad. I love being your dad. And it's important to me that I get it right. So I'm gonna be counting on you to help me do that. Deal? Deal. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what? We can find stuff to do. It doesn't have to be stuff that Dana liked. There's one thing I've been wanting to try. What's that? Fishing. Fishing? Well, Dana never liked <laughs> I'm gonna catch the biggest fish ever. No, oh, you're gonna outfish your old man. Yep. Huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, don't tell my Myra about our little snack. It'll be our little secret. Nah, that's really <laughs> When I was a little boy, my granddad used to take me fishing. We'd eat the same snacks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a bite! Yes, yes, I got one! Yes! Look, look, look! Yeah! Yes! 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 High five! Yes! <laughs> Hey. Hey. Liz, I want you to know that when we get back to Atlanta, I plan to dissolve our company, find somebody to take over our office space, so you'll be free of me once and for all. Let's... I'm pretty sure we'll wake up tomorrow and the sun will be out to be 150 degrees again. <laughs> yep, we can get back to our plans. Nothing's gonna stop us from having the best yeah. Chandler Christmas ever! <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, that's not good. You people are acting like this world is coming to an end. You know how my grandma, you know how grandma used to cool the house? She would open up a window and wait on the breeze. Cooked on a wood-burning stove. Mm-hmm. That hot water cornbread. Mm. Loved her roasted peanuts, remember? And she got water from a well. Mm -hmm. Burn those kerosene lamps, too. Mm. We spent many a Christmas with her. Mm -hmm. Loved it. 
Well, I'm too young to remember all that primitive stuff. <laughs> oh, girl. Well, my point is, is we always loved to gra go to Grandma's house, and we didn't care if she had running water or, or, or central heating. We just loved being with her. That was important to us. And I think we have a tendency to forget how blessed we are to have each other and to be together. Hmm. Are we going to get through this? Together? together. Oh. Goodness, oh, we're idiots. I mean, why are we sitting in this inferno when we should be in the RV where there's AC? Mm -hmm. oh. All right. Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. How are we gonna get going together and y'all are leaving me? I know I better have a comfortable seat on that dang old RV. This is so nice. It sure is. It reminds me of the time that Daddy's old pickup truck broke down. You remember that? Oh, how can I forget? It was like a hot Christmas season like this one. Now, do you all remember how nervous we were because we thought Santa wasn't going to come by our house because we didn't have our butts at home in the bed? <laughs> it was raining right. cats and dogs. Uh, and we were so scared because it took Uncle Bo ever to come pick us up. Right, right, the right. Road. And then Mama starts singing. <laughs> She sure did. <laughs> Silent night, holy night, all is come, all Tender and mild, sleep in the heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. What'd you think? Let's. Oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, Donald, when you first got this RV, I thought it was kind of like overkill, but thank goodness you got it. Yes, thank you. My baby knows what he's doing. <laughs> well, you can't be too prepared when you take the family out on these types of things, right, Blair? That's right, Uncle. We knew what we were doing. <laughs> That's right, we can just stay in here until the power comes back on. Now you're talking. I had a great idea when I said for us to come out. Well, uh, 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 actually, uh, running the air and everything is sapping our fuel. We're, uh, what? We're running low. What? Are you sure? You, you mean if, if we keep running all this stuff, we may run out of gas? Oh, no, what? And be stuck in the mountains? Oh, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure if we, we get somebody to get us some gas, push came Yeah, but what if everybody's in the same situation we are? Well, quick, everybody shut everything off. Yes. I'm not trying to get stuck up in the mountains now. Blair, unplug that. Uncle Donald, turn that off. I'm trying to eat my Lord, baby. Close off that light. Mom! I got it! Okay. Got it. Babe, you don't have that. Oh my goodness, Lizzie, get out! You gotta help! Oh. Just turn it here. I think we should try to go home. What? Wait, and run out of gas on one of those curvy, narrow roads? Uh, no, thank you. You know what? It, it's all going to be fine. This too shall pass. We just have to be patient. I want to go home. Me too. I mean, who knows when they're going to get the power back up? Exactly. And by that time, we could be baked. Would you two stop whining? We are not whining, Mom. We're stating facts. Facts we already know, Marcy. Well, at least we're together as oh, a family. Oh, come on. Now, Myra, don't, don't you start that. Excuse with the family, me? the tradition, the memories. Excuse hey, me. Hey, air. Mom, is there any water? Get up and go see for yourself. OK, Mommy, dearest. And while I'm there, I'm going to go check on my daughter. Oh, you're not too old now. No, just a second. Really? Why are you snapping on Marcy? 
Because I can. I'm her mother. Oh. And don't be even concerned about why she's snapping. I need to know, what do you mean about enough of the family bonding? Exactly. What does Myra, that mean? please, are you serious? I am serious. If it serious. wasn't for you two, we wouldn't even be stuck. Oh, you so hey. ungrateful hey, to hey, us. Hey. If it wasn't for you two, we would not even be in this mess. Uh, because you always want to pass off these Christmas antics as tradition. No, but oh, we, let me tell you something. You must do it for oh. Chandler. Oh, let's do it for Denny. Oh, don't you talk oh, about Denny. Don't bring her name up in this conversation. You know what, you're right. It's not about Denny. It's about you two. Because I said, let's all just do what we want to do for the holiday. But no one ever listens to me. Hey, hey, hey. Family hey, considers what hey, what's going on? What family want to do. We want them good ideas, Lizzie. And we know Come what on, to Myra. do. Come on, Myra. Exactly what I'm talking about. You always shoot down every idea that I have. No, we Every don't. plan that I come up with is too stupid. It's too folly. It's too foolish, Elizabeth. Lizzie, how could you say such a thing? We because love it's true. It's the truth. When was the last time that you all supported anything that I ever did? Babe. Babe, you all right? This is a disaster. It's the worst Christmas ever. I don't want Chandler ever to remember any of this. Can you watch her for me? Sure, but where are you going? I'll, I'll be right back. I'm lonely. Yeah, that's... I'm just lonely. Everybody has somebody. You have somebody. You have somebody. I mean, who do I have? What do I have? I don't have a husband. And I don't have any children. I don't have my career anymore. It's just... I mean, look at everything, everything. Everything is just so beautiful, all the decorations. You guys get to share that with your children and your grandchildren. I don't know you think I'm being selfish, but I'm not being selfish. I'm just by myself. And I just, I'm just lonely. I'm just so lonely. I mean, we always thought that you love life. I do. I love my life. I just. It's not that I don't love my life. I just I feel like an outsider. No, Elizabeth, you are not an outsider. But that's how I feel. Insider. And you and you're not alone. Never. You can never shake us. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, with all of the memories that we've shared, it would be nothing without you, baby girl. Do you remember? when Lizzie was a little baby. <laughs> her first Christmas? <laughs> yes, we, we wrapped her up like a present and put a bow in her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she's still our special present. Yes. I love you, and I'm so sorry. It's okay. Me too. Oh, <laughs> I love you so much, and I'm sorry too. Is it uh, safe for me to come in? Yes, come on, Donald. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Can a brother get some love too? <laughs> come on, Blair. Come on, Blair. Where's Denny and Marcy? Aren't they with you? No. Donald, call Denny. I call Marcy. Yeah.
dad went straight to voicemail. Well, maybe they just went ahead and took a walk to get away from all the craziness. Yeah, but well, there was a whole lot of craziness going on up in here. <laughs> right. Uh, they should be walking through that door any minute now. <sighs> The sun will be setting soon. Let's go, look. Chiller. I'll grab rain hats in case it starts raining, lights. guys. Wait, wait, wait. You guys don't even know where you're going. Oh, we'll figure it out. What if you get lost? You won't get lost. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Sure. Stay by the phone just in case they circle back on us, all right? OK, be careful. I think we walked too far. I don't remember all the turns we took. Me neither. Um, um. Oh, no, I think it was this way. No, I'm, actually, I think we came from around this big tree right here. Don't worry, I'll just call Blair. Shh, I forgot my phone. No, no, I have mine. OK. But it's dead. Are you sure? OK, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, we'll get it figured out. I'm pretty sure it's this way. Come it's going to be dark soon. I know. It's fine, sweetie. Don't worry. We got this. OK. okay. Denny. Marcy. Denny. Marcy. Marcy. Denny. I don't know where they could have went. I don't know too much about this, but I think we may need to try another path on. No, no. Let's keep going straight. Huh? All right. Denny! Marcy! Jesus. Denny! Marcy! I just put down Chandler. Let me get those sugar cookies. I cannot talk to you. My nieces are lost in the woods. Hey, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down, son. Let me help you. Come on, let's go. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's just keep going. No, no, you can't. You can't. I have to go get help. Oh, no. Oh, no, honey. We stay together. No, you cannot go roaming around in the woods by yourself. Okay. It's okay. Let's just... Lean on me. Lean on me. Come on. Oh, shh. Okay. Here. 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 Okay. Here. Easy. Okay. 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 Come on. We're almost there. Oh. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Ow. Okay. It's okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Take your time. Take your time. <sighs> oh, okay, I'm gonna just rest for one second. Oh, sweetie, are you okay? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Listen to me. We are going to get out of here, OK? We are going to find our way home. I promise you. I can guarantee you that Blair and Uncle Donald and, and everybody in this family is out here looking for us. Maybe the police, like everybody, they, they'll find us, OK? Well, maybe not Elizabeth.
Marcy! Uncle Duck, I'm gonna call the house. Denny! Hey, 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 so, so nobody made it back to the house? No. Nothing, nothing. They're out there in the woods and there's, there's a storm coming and it's gonna be dark pretty soon. And now, Elizabeth is gone. What? Yeah, she just, she just up and left. Okay, all right. Blair, I need for you and Donald to please be careful out there. And I'll give you a call if anybody turns up. Okay, bye. What's going on? Now Elizabeth's missing. What? Yes, they say she left looking for Marcy. I don't, we, we gotta Come on, look, there's yeah. a storm coming. We gotta find her, come on. Marcy! Denny! Marcy! Denny! Yeah, I know, I know it's getting late, but I'm surprised to see you out here. What, why? Well, you didn't strike me as a type that cared about family all that much. Oh, I love my family. Mm. I mean, I, I know, you get on my nerves, but I don't know what I would do if anything happened to one of them. What about you, Connor? Where's your family? Our baby's gonna be fine, Myra. I know, and our baby sister. We've had some crazy Christmases, Myra. Yes, we have. Marcy bringing home a, a fake fiance, Adam Reed. Oh, Mom, I hope you don't mind. I brought Adam. Adam is my Oh, new... I think I know who he is. How do you do? Welcome to the Chandler. So how can you believe a marriage? I mean, honey, it's about time. Man. At your age, I was already on my second house. Could I be looking at you? Are you gonna son? marry this woman? Yes. <laughs> yes, I knew it. It was on the tip of his tongue. <laughs> Marcy Jewel, will you fake marry me? <laughs> Only to marry Blair a year later. Do you like me? I like you. I always have. Marcy Leanne Chandler Jewel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've loved you my whole life. And I want to love you for the rest of my life. Marcy, will you marry me? Yes. Oh, are you vested in me by the state of Georgia? I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may continue kissing each other. Oh, and don't forget your engagement to the cute little Jesuit <laughs> Antonio. <laughs> okay, everybody, please meet Antonio Simpson. <laughs> Only to reconnect with Lawrence. Larry? Staff. Sweet baby Chandler. Babies. Beautiful Denny. Mm. Yeah, how'd you like it if Grandma Myra and Grandpa Donald became uh, Mama Myra and Daddy Donald? Chandler's, I have an announcement to make. Myra and me, we're gonna be parents. We've had some wonderful Christmases. Yes, we have. And now our family is out there in the woods, and here we are sitting doing nothing. Okay, Steph, re remember when we were stranded in the truck? Yeah. Do you remember what we did? Yeah. God, we know that you do all things well. All things well, God. Steph and I, we have the faith and belief that you haven't stopped doing all things well. So we're reaching out to you on this day. We need you. I need you. Steph needs you. Our family needs you now. Bring them home. Please, Lord. And we thank you. So, my ex-wife is marrying my brother on Christmas Day. And nobody in the family seems to have a problem with it, except me, of course. So they're all together celebrating the holidays. And the wedding. And the wedding. I'm sorry, Connor. I mean, that explains why you're out here in the mountains all alone. Well, 
I'm not alone anymore. I know we're not in business together anymore, but I'm still your aunt, and I love you so very much. I love you too, Auntie. Oh. I'm so sorry. Everything is said to you. No, no, no. It's fine. Did you hurt trip? It's fine. I just, oh. just want to go home. Thank let's you. Let's get home. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. Okay. Come on, you. you hungry? I'm fine. Yeah. I'm so glad I found you. I don't know what I'd do without you. What is going on? See, look, here they come, here they come. come Marcy! Come back, come back. Jen! Marcy! Honey, are you okay? Oh, where are you going, Denny? It's all right. It's raining. Come on, Denny, Lizzie. Come on, Lizzie. Oh, my God, Lizzie, I'm so glad you're here. a good meal tonight. We're having a couple of us. There's not enough for <laughs> everyone. Just us. We just have to make it make it stretch. That's right. We know. We did the work. Oh, man. Everyone else can have hot dogs. Yeah. Might as well. Right. <laughs> I'm going to go show Mama Myra. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Blair, was hot dogs ready? I'm hungry. Looks good, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Connor. Merry Christmas, Elizabeth. <sighs> Christmas dinner, huh? Yeah, we got like hot dogs, burgers, fish, anything we can put on that grill and not turn on that stove in the house because it's still so hot. Nice. Nice. You brought something. Oh, yeah. That was something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, leave it over there with the guys. I'm so glad you decided to join us. Mm. It's the least that we could do for you helping us find Marcy and Denny. Oh, thanks necessary, Elizabeth. It was my pleasure. Mm. Yeah. No one needs to be alone on Christmas. Mm. I mean, you got to spend time with family, even if it's not your own. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back, OK? All right. All right. How's it going? Heavenly Father, we thank you. We are so blessed to be here together as a family. Bless, Lord, for this food and this shelter. Yes. Lord, we are blessed to have each other. Now, I'm not going to lie, Lord. This trip has tested us to the nth degree mm. in so many different ways. But Lord, once again, you showed us who's driving that mm -hmm. RV. Who's in control? You, God. Mm -hmm. Then us. Mm -hmm. All of us. And so we thank you, God, for showing us that no matter where we are, no matter what we're going through, mm -hmm. as long as we stick together and put you first, everything's going to be all right. In your son's name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. 
Yeah, but Stephanie, as hot as it is, really, do you have the sweater vest on? Yes, it's Christmas, and I suffer for fashion. Fashion? Can we sing happy birthday to Chandler? Yes. Uh, yeah? Uh, happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chandler. Happy birthday to you. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Jenny! Earl, what on earth are you doing up this early? Are you baking? I wanted to bake some cookies before we hit the road. Hmm. Really? <laughs> yeah. OK, to be honest, I tried a couple of times, but it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, especially when Marcy helped. Marcy? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think I'll ever be a good baker like you and the rest of the Chandler women. Well, you might not be, but who cares, honey? Then it's not what you do or don't do that makes you a Chandler woman. It's who you are. Sweetie, your, your dad and I, we wanted to adopt you because we love you and because we love who you are inside. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make and mold you into someone else or someone like the rest of us for that <laughs> matter. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what Marcy told me too. Marcy, she may not be able to bake, but she got that right. Listen to me. You can burn every single cookie that you bake for the rest of your life and it won't matter, okay? Okay. <laughs> well, I guess they're ready. <laughs> I guess they are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, they look good. Shape's perfect. Color is absolutely beautiful. Mmm. And they smell amazing. <laughs> and I'm doing that little slide motion on that cookie sheet. <laughs> Looks so nice and clean. I like that. Well, how, how are they? Well, I think they need a little, mm, mm, next time, I think you just need to, to try Girl, these cookies are delicious. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, really? My God. Mm, they're really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did it. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you did it. You did it. Oh, my God.
Mm, these are so good. Now, these cookies right here, they are the best. <laughs> so I need you to just pack them up mm -hmm. so we can take them with us, okay? Good, because I made enough for everyone. Mm. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. It's gonna be our secret. These cookies are you and me, okay? Mm. Now, you can bake Christmas cookies for the rest of the family, but that'll be next year, okay? Okay. All right, Deal. gotcha. Deal. <laughs> gotcha, girl. Well, I'm gonna clean up, and why don't we go outside and take some pictures by the lake before we go? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Let me hold another one of these cookies. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Let's okay. take it right here. Right here? Good light. Okay. Pooch lip. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. <laughs> all right, take one of me all by myself. Okay, honey. ready? Ready? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Cute. Let me see. Ready? Okay. Yes. All right. Let's go. I, I want you to just know those cookies were the bomb. Aww. They were so good. So good. I'm so happy with them. Ooh, I'm gonna take a picture over here by the lake. Oh, okay. That's good. You just keep posting, baby, and um, I'll be right right over there in a minute. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't even see you walk up. Yeah, I know, but you're like right in the zone, yeah. baby. Man, I wish I knew how to tune people out like that. Especially Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> so, guess y'all be headed out soon, huh? Yeah. What about you? I'm cutting out tomorrow. I was planning on staying a little longer, but I'm, I'm actually ready to get back to Atlanta. Really? My baby sister didn't have anything to do with that, did she? Mm-hmm. I thought so. You know what? I think Elizabeth likes you a lot. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's cool. She's cool. Yeah, she's real cool. Now, see, I don't know you that well at all. Right. But I know my baby sister and I... I really think she's ready for a meaningful, serious relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's, she's had some duds in her life, but I think that times have changed and so is she. So uh, I'm not saying that you're on the same page as, as what I'm talking about, <laughs> you know, but uh, just in case you are, you know, well, you feel me? I feel you. I feel you, big sis. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I have a qu question for you. What were you getting ready to do? I'm getting ready to get you, back to You're doing just what I was getting ready to ask you a question about. You're <laughs> always in position. Yeah. What's all that stuff that you do every time I look out here? Let me just show you. Just do it with me. I don't Let know about you. that. I, did, I just asked the oh, question. No, it's, it's, it's very easy. We'll start at the beginning. And look, it'll be a great way for you to relax before you take that long trip back to Atlanta. Hmm. OK. Well, let's try it. Show all me right. what you got. Look, it's real easy. All I need you to do is to mirror me. Okay. Stand right there and just okay. do what I do. All okay. right? Just show imagine. Me what you got. Show me, show me, show me. Let me show you. Imagine that you're in water. Okay. All right? And we're going to push. Push. Okay. And, and what we, do we push in what? We're pushing we push the water. Push oh, the water. okay. There you Them go. waves going. Can you feel it? Oh, I look feel at your hips. I see your hips. I'm in Hawaii right. right now. Well, my first Christmas as a Chandler woman is over. But we created some pretty awesome memories that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. Man, I know my grandma would just love, love my new family. I could feel her smiling on me already. <laughs> well, uh, this is Denny Brooks signing off, and I'll see you next Christmas. <laughs> Come on, you got, you got to come talk one more time. You got to oh, no, come on. No, it's time for you to come on. Let the, you need to go say goodbye to Elizabeth. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. You know what? Let, let me clean up before I go see you. All right. Yeah, you probably Except need to clean up. Clean up. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. All right. All right. You have a safe trip back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, that's so nosy. Eh? You need to just come on. Come on. Yeah, hey, y'all. <laughs> Take care. All right. All right. Have a safe trip. Nice meeting you. See you, Connor. All right. See you later. <laughs> now she does not want Okay. Well, we had the most amazing, amazing Christmas ever. Yeah. Nope, nothing got burned down. Everything's good. Chandler, we love you. We Your love whole you. family loves you. Mm -hmm. Duck, I get the drive, man. All right, let's go. <clears throat> hey, uh, Uncle, I thought I was driving back. <laughs> I'm ready for Christmas again already. <laughs> Me too, little cuz. Oh. oh no. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Down we know our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Twill the ancient yule tide carol. Fa la 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 la. That right there is the stuff that families are made of, Chandler. <laughs>